Welcome to Category 5 Technology TV. What you're about to experience is a free, worldwide, interactive broadcast from Ontario, Canada. We broadcast live every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Get your questions in. Join the community chat room at www.category5.tv or email us at live at category5.tv. And now, let's begin. Here's your host, Robbie Ferguson. Welcome to episode number 200 of Category 5 Technology TV. It is great to have you here. And we've got some fantastic guests who are going to be uh, joining us tonight uh, right here in studio. Uh, one of them is trying to get on camera right there. Uh, so uh, get into the chat room, category5.tv. On Freenode, it's Category 5. Make sure you check us out and uh, make sure you join us there. Tonight we are stepping outside of format in order to uh, celebrate our 200th episode. And to start, before we, uh, before we start welcoming our special guests uh, into the hot seat, uh, we're going to take a look back at uh, the past 200 episodes. And not in real time, I was saying. <laughs> Don't worry. It's not going to be in real time. But we're going to take a look back and we're going to have a look at exactly how far Category 5 TV has come in the past 200 episodes. So if we can get started with that. Yeah. <laughs> I try to read and talk at the same time because uh, Stein, Steingard was telling me that that's, that's the one downfall about the show is when I'm reading the chat room, I'm just kind of sitting here like this. And it's kind of boring to watch. So I was thinking, you, you know, I could hum a tune. Um, I could, uh, you know, I was getting get a sound effect machine or something. Program the Jeopardy theme song in there. Doo -doo. Something like that. No. So hopefully you guys don't mind. But I think eventually what would be really cool is having a second host. Somebody who can come on the show and carry the show while I'm reading the questions, things like that. I'd like to introduce our co-host, uh, Carrie Webb, who's joining us for the first time tonight. Hello. Sounds like uh, we've got people from all over the world uh, this week uh, posting in the viewer testimonials. Great to hear from everybody. And certainly if you are uh, joining us tonight from Florida, I'd like to hear from you to kind of find out how the weather is down there. I understand if you're not able to be here uh, live uh, during the broadcast, but uh, certainly we're, our thoughts and prayers are with you and uh, hope that uh, everything is well with everybody down there. So what's new, Carrie? Well, not too much. You Thanks are school. a self-professed non-geek. Absolutely. Grade 9 business is as far as I go. I can email and run the chat room. So. Okay, so speaking of running the chat room, uh, what's going to happen here tonight? It's going to be quite a bit different, and of course it's going to take a couple of episodes for uh, Carrie and I in particular to get used to the way things are going to be working. But essentially, um, you know, if you have any questions for me during the broadcast, you're going to be posting them to the chat room at category5.tv, and Carrie is going to make sure that I don't miss your question. So that's uh, kind of what she's there for, and she's also uh, going to be taking over email as well. So when you send in your emails uh, live at category5.tv, she'll be able to answer those for you. All right, so tonight is, uh, we're, we're going to be stepping out of our usual format because tonight, uh, as I was expressing to the crowd just before the show, uh, we're, we'd like to kind of look over the past year of Category 5 Technology TV and uh, go over um, how things have been going uh, in our first year of broadcasting with Category 5, let you kind of know, uh, especially those of you who have never watched the show, um, what it is that we do at Category 5 Technology TV. So essentially, uh, Category 5 started as a dream of mine back in 2005. Uh, now, you should understand what I do is I'm a, an IT technologist, so, uh, so I provide services for computer company, uh, companies. Uh, I service their computers and take care of their networks and things like that. So one of the things that I started to see as a trend is that uh, uh, companies like that, uh, you know, people would have personal issues with their computers, wanting to know how to do this or that, and not necessarily being able to um, hire an IT uh, to take care of that answer for them. So, uh, so I set out to find a unique way to be able to provide free technical support for, uh, for those very users and that's what, uh, what came about with Category 5. So uh, from 2005 to 2007 basically was just the, the preliminary step of getting Category 5 ready and, uh, and getting our, everything put together. And then in uh, September of 2007 we launched with our first ever live broadcast. Uh, so it's been a very exciting ride uh, since then. Um, starting out, I mean, we look at numbers. We brought some printouts with us just to kind of let you know where we've come from and where mm -hmm. we are now. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. Like in March, uh, March 9th, even 2008, you had 211 viewers. And I now was very proud of that. Uh, that's awesome. Yeah, that's per, so we're looking at numbers here per week, okay? So these are viewers by week, and these are based on uh, our server logs. So we have a, an aggregator that breaks down those numbers and, and tells us how many people were watching that week. So. Mm -hmm. And then... Uh, 
looking down further in June up to 344, mm -hmm. uh, in July 721, and uh, August 10th, that was the, the highest number of viewers. Cool. Um, we had 61,821 viewers, and that's those who watch the uh, streams in the archives too, right? That's, that's just the podcast. Oh, so that's so. like, so that's one week of people who are subscribed uh, via Miro, iTunes, uh, people who have iPods that want to be able to watch the show syndicated and things like that. So we jumped from, now my first show, we had five viewers. Uh, this was episode number one. We had five live viewers, and I was really, really impressed with that. Tyler is joining us tonight. I think he was one of those viewers. Um, and uh, great to see you, by the way. Um, and so going from that to 200 viewers uh, in one week was really exciting. And then we started to see that, you know, people were really taking to Category 5 because it's not only free tech support, but it's a global medium for people to be able to ask their questions. And that's exactly how we set it up. People are able to join us in the chat room. Uh, we have our computers. Uh, Carrie's got her chat room there. I've got my chat room here. We keep email uh, open at all times. And when we're in the studio uh, back at, our, at my place, uh, we also have a phone line there uh, as well for people to be able to call in from all over the world. So, so we get uh, a number of questions each week. A uh, number of uh, people join us in the chat room. Right now, uh, great to see everybody who's in the chat room tonight. Uh, we've got Chas Linux there. I uh, can't even go through the list. We've got Raj, I see. Popey is joining us. Popey, uh, good to see you. And Robbie, I watched the very first episode uh, the other night. It was okay, just, you watched episode I, one. I did watch episode one. And uh, it was amazing just to see the picture qualities change, and they didn't have you didn't have that um, funky intro tune that I like so much. We didn't have that in the first no. episode. You know what it was? It's it's not that I didn't have that. That was produced by Mick Rippon, uh, a, a good friend of mine from Australia. Uh, but I didn't have the ability to play it on the stream, right? Oh, okay. But, and and then in the later episodes, we actually started putting a microphone up to a speaker, pushing oh, wow. play on the uh, on the theme song so that you'd hear the theme song. So oh, now, wow. obviously, everything is uh, quite a bit more technologically advanced. Um, and certainly, like, this is the first time that we've ever <laughs> had to box everything up, bring it to another venue, and then set it up again. So today has been quite the exciting day. So, mm -hmm. uh, But yeah, looking at those numbers, just going back to that, hitting 61,821 viewers in one week uh, back in August. <laughs> yeah, scream it out, yeah. <laughs> uh, that, that was just outstanding, amazing. And, and the trend before that, like we hit 19,000 two weeks before that, uh, or three weeks before that, and then up to, it, uh, it stayed around there, 18,000, 34,000 in August. And what happened there is that we got featured on the front page of Miro Internet TV. And that's a program that people can install on their computer. They can syndicate um, the program uh, in kind of like the same sort of way that iTunes works with audio. Uh, Miro Internet TV works with internet television programs. People can tune in uh, to their favorite internet TV program. So we happen to have so many people subscribe to Category 5 at that point because of our feature on the website, uh, Miro Internet TV, that, uh, that that just gave us that boom that we needed to, uh, to really, you know, increase the viewership. So, and Actually, we've been consistent you, ever since. Didn't you wipe out a server or something? Yeah, like that's, that? what, what speaking happened of what that? happened this year, uh, back when, now Carrie started uh, just in, in mid-August, eh? So yeah. that's what it looks like. And, um, just around that time, because we had the, the 61,000 viewers, and then we're, we're averaging about 45 to 50,000 viewers per week. Uh, now, our web host, we had everything, you know, put your eggs in one basket, right? It's great, it's cheap, and, you know, we put all of our uh, MP4, all of our streaming video files on one server. So it turns out that we got so popular with Miro Internet TV, so many people were downloading it on Wednesday morning after our Tuesday broadcast uh, that we actually took down an entire server farm. So we're talking about every website, every client of this server farm was completely offline during that time. So we got a very polite email from the ISP saying we need you to move off of our server. And uh, within a couple of days, we found a new host at Blip TV, and they've been able to provide us a very economical solution. And that's been working out great for us as well for our RSS feed. So. And this is kind of difficult doing this without my switcher now. So we don't have end credits. We don't have anything. It's just us, and we'll just be like, OK, now we're going to turn off our camera. You want me to beatbox? Yeah, please. <laughs> totally just changed what this show is all about, yeah. you know? I'm sorry. Yeah. So now to fill up the reservoir, we don't want to start pouring directly from the refill tank because, of course, if you spill, it's going to cause quite a mess. So we're going to use George over here to squeeze the air out of him. Okay. Uh, what does the word Ubuntu mean to you, and why did you choose to go with the word Ubuntu as the as the name of your desktop Linux operating system? 
It has a very special meaning. Um, uh, it, it means the sort of the essence of being a person, and particularly the idea that, that relationships between people are what's really important. And for South Africans, I'm, I'm South African, and, and uh, yeah. for South Africans, it kind of represents the the, the the triumph of bringing people together to to bring their best talents together for everybody's benefit. And so it just seemed like a wonderful word to use for uh, for the name of the project. This one's from Thomas. Thomas says, I've tried the new Jaunty, and I saw that mono was on it, and, and I got excited. But unfortunately, if you don't know what mono is, it's a free version Microsoft Silverlight. Uh, f are in are in rage because wow, we it's won't by use that word on there. <laughs> okay. Sorry. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Is that bad? No, well, it's a little in. in okay. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. We apologize on behalf of Category 5. <laughs> We're reading the email here. Guys, come on. Because it's by Microsoft, uh, I don't like. Uh, I really that, uh. <laughs> oh wow! We shouldn't have to censor your emails. Um, I guess skip that one, Robbie. You can okay. look through that later. All right, I'll read through it later. Sorry for those who are listening. So Mia, we just like to thank you for joining us, um, doing a feature on Category Five TV. Andrew says, "Well, tonight's show is going to be bittersweet. We're losing our wonderful co-host, but not in vain. She's going to bigger and better things to help heal the world with her smile and her skills as a nurse. Thank you so much. Uh, for those of us who have watched the show long enough to know that uh, know what it was like before Carrie, we know she helped." bring sanity to the web of frustrating tech babble that us geeks love so that, much. Eh? Robbie will have a hard time finding a replacement to fill her shoes for sure. Good luck Definitely. in your new job, Carrie. Your Category 5 family will miss you. Hope you will stop in once in a while for sure, even if it's just as a guest. Uh, best of luck in your future endeavors and God bless. Thank you very much. And I'll definitely stop back. Uh, in fact, we've got the first an second anniversary show yeah, coming two up. Year so, show coming yeah, two-year show coming up. Yeah, crazy. Lots of people joining us. Lots of people. It's been a long time since you've been here, Christy. We were talking just before the show. I was like, has it seriously been like more than six months ish? Yeah, I think it's been about six months. Yeah. Are you talking about the one where you were, where it was black and white and you looked like a ghost? No, that was '96. That was when we first got the okay. lights. <laughs> yeah. So this week we. There, there was the first one where you were chalk white. I'm kind of white anyways, <laughs> but it, you know, I was actually thinking I need to like get out there and hit the streets and start looking for a sponsor that's a tanning salon. How would you yeah. like that? How would you like that? Or we could just do your makeup that way, like spray on the fake yes. tan. Get a fake tan. <laughs> I'd be like completely bronze. And then your teeth would Every, glow. Only Tuesday nights, yeah. His teeth like, will glow. <laughs> glow in the dark, hyper color, technicolor. Kind like, of thing. like uh, what's it called? Black light? That'd be awesome. On your teeth. <laughs> That'd be great. <laughs> 100 episodes though, when I started this thing, uh, it was me with a webcam, literally. I, I've seen a lot of changes. A lot of changes, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> we are joined tonight by uh, Hillary, who is uh, joining us for the first time tonight, and we're in a mad scramble tonight. It's madness. Chaos. Absolutely. Everybody joining us in the chat room, it's great to have you there. And people saying, where is Christy? Christy, say hello to everybody. Hey, how you doing? Surprise. Surprise, Christy yeah. is our new news anchor at the Category 5 Technology TV News Desk. It's great to have you there. Send me your weather. Yeah, she's watching the chat room for your weather. Google has announced it has begun to phase out support for Internet Explorer 6. Web designers everywhere have been saying it for years, update your browser or switch to Firefox. But having a giant such as Google finally put their foot down should be a wake-up call for those who still use the nine-year-old browser that has forced expensive browser compatibility service fees and is said to have many resulted in the web being held back from many potential technologies technologies. With 20% of web users reportedly still using this antiquated browser, web development companies have continued the sometimes futile effort of making it work with their web services. And so we reiterate the voice of your local web developer, upgrade IE, or better yet, switch to Firefox. Well, some speculate that the entire project is a waste of money and resources. Geeks and nerds are excited what this could mean for when we populate the moon. Perhaps <laughs> then and only then will we realize how incredibly important it is to drill a giant hole into our planet. Nonetheless, you have to admit, it's a pretty cool drill. While Robbie was at work yesterday, he was called home early when it was discovered that someone had smashed the patio door leading to the Category 5 TV studio and made off with some equipment. The thief was 
easily able to wrap up Hillary's laptop along with one of our two DV cameras and a few lesser items. Forensic experts from the Barry Police Department were unable to establish solid evidence as to who the criminal was and it's not expected the hardware will be recovered. Fortunately, no one was home at the time and the cat hid himself under a bed. A fund has been set up to allow able viewers to show their support in helping replenish what was lost and we thank you sincerely for your support. To find out more please visit our website at www.category5.tv. For those who are unable to show support through this financially, we want you to know that we appreciate your loyal viewership and for standing by us with your thoughts and prayers. In Robbie's words is read from the category 5. TV, the show must go on. <laughs> what are you talking about? Okay, were you, were you seriously not listening to that? Whoops. She's actually getting scared. <laughs> She's bumping things. And <laughs> okay. <laughs> Look what you will hit. <laughs> Okay, this is this you ever is wondered? The, yes, we the are weather in the same stopper. Room. What are you doing now? I okay. haven't selected anything yet. I haven't okay. made a choice. I can either require my password to log in or require my password to log in and to decrypt my home folder. Hmm. What do I do? It's up to you, Hillary. Hark, I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, Christy you, Weatherpants um, Burton. Now, some viewers have mentioned that they have sent, like, uh, be it a card or whatever, just to, to say farewell to our postal box. They have not arrived yet. Um, so, uh, so this is just card from us and, and signed from the whole community. But also, what we did is uh, on the uh, news article that you you saw, like all the comments from viewers and stuff. Uh, so Becca, yeah, has thank you so much for all those nice little comments. Just just so that you don't ever forget how appreciated you've been here at the community and and with the viewers and and everything. We've we've written out those comments for you, oh, that's so that you've so got nice. them on. On, on uh, recipe cards so that you can oh, tack them up so on the awesome. bulletin board Thank or whatever you, you want to do. We love Christy Burton. Oh, we sure yeah. do. And we're going to miss you a ton. Oh, well. goodbye and good luck. Oh, I'm going to miss you guys so much. And here they are, the little cards with all the comments. Thank you. Oh, I'm going to miss you guys. <laughs> I can't stand up because I'm, I'm wired up. That's okay. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I hug on behalf of the entire community. Hug for you. Well, as you can imagine, tonight's show is going to be quite a bit different than the usual broadcast from our studios in Barrie, because here I am, in the great outdoors, Eagle Lake, Ontario. Speaking of ruling the world, uh, Hillary sprung some news on me this week. And uh. it's something that you've been mulling over because you're trying to figure out, okay, future and this yes. and that. And um, so Hillary is actually going to be taking a sabbatical from yes. the show for, for a short time, longer than we would like, but uh, <laughs> I'll let you kind of fill us in on what's going on and you got accepted at school. I was. It's a broadcast journalism program. Cool. Um, partially accepted because of my efforts on this show actually. Isn't that fantastic? One of the... Um, we, got a we got to block all the schools from being able to watch <laughs> our co-hosts. Well, they looked me up or whatever and were checking out some of my stuff and then right. saw me on here and uh, one of the admissions officer was like, oh, I saw your St. Patrick's Day episode and I was like, oh, <laughs> <hey>. thank you. <laughs> Um, anyways, so I will be doing that for a few months. That's, so. that's exciting though, that's cool. Yeah. Now is, is journalism something that you've wanted to be into? And yeah, for a while now. I, I kind of, um, jack of all trades, master of none, but uh, journalism is definitely one of my areas of interest. Yeah. So going to pursue it a little further and cool. see what happens. And this is, I think Category 5 is a very cool launch pad. But this launch is coming back down to earth just like that rocket ship that you were telling me about a couple of exactly couple of weeks yeah ago. yeah on the news this one's just going up to orbit for just a little bit of time and then it's crashing down <laughs> gotta get my wings and, and then the land back parachute here will safely land you <laughs> back in our studio in eight months so it's a hillary hiatus but don't you worry people and i'll be back periodically so you never know when i will turn up i just might show up and you'll be like oh there's hillary yeah. and i'm joined by my good friend eric kid tonight hey wait a minute <laughs> Where's your pocket protector? Dude, dude, they know. <laughs> They've been watching the show for three years. They know. That's no surprise. And they know and love you. I hope so. And they're so. wondering why, why you, where did you find me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I felt sorry for the lad. 
<laughs> you look so homely. <laughs> you can see myself there. And it, this is actually a channel on Wirecast. There I am on my uh, Microsoft Life Cam. And I can move this around the screen. That's on the green screen because using chroma key, there I am. So I can place myself there, turn on chroma key, and now I've got this seamless. Now I put myself there because it would hide the fact that I have no legs. <laughs> because as a matter of fact, this is how the screen actually looks in reality. So with this picture, for example, I'm able to get myself and I can position myself anywhere on the screen that I like. I can zoom in and out to make it work with the scene because you want to make sure that uh, everything looks like it's proportional to the scene itself. And now if that's what I save, that's where it's going to place me on the scene. For my close-up shot, or uh, let's use the bridge view for example, you'll notice that I'm actually sitting behind the console. This effect was accomplished using an application called GNU Image Manipulation Program. He writes that he has greatly missed the day-to-day -day interaction with customers and partners that he has had while working in the trenches with past employment, and that this is a part of what has made him realize that while being a COO was a good experience, it's not quite what he wants. It's interesting to know yeah. um, that, that people are watching who, who can't necessarily hear. That's very nice to have you here. Now, we have been working with uh, YouTube's and Google's uh, speech-to-text, and I'm very excited about what the service could entail, but I'm not too excited about the accuracy. Oh, like, is it like, okay, you know how on ye old television, when you were to put closed captioning up, it wouldn't recognize some words and it would be like, like that, kind of? Let's just say they've gone one step further and they've compared the to a dictionary. Oh. And said phonetically, hmm. this sounds like this oh. word. Oh. <laughs> and it just starts randomly slapping in words. Gotcha. That don't really have anything to do with what's being said. This is last week's episode. I would like to see. Just the intro. All right. Pay attention. Okay. What you're about to experience is a free, worldwide, interactive broadcast from Ontario, Canada. We broadcast live every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Get your questions in. Join the community chat room at www.category5.tv or email us at live at category5.tv. And now, let's begin. Here's your host, Robbie Ferguson. Welcome to this episode number 169 of Category 5 Technology TV. I'm your host, Robbie Ferguson. And I'm Eric Good. I didn't know that Eric was anti American until Google <laughs> I no told idea. me so. <laughs> I had no clue. <laughs> Eric is not anti American, just so you know. All of our lovely American viewers. Those are real captions from Google. Thank that is much. so funny. This could be, you know, your hard drive has crashed, and fortunately, you were you were smart and you created a Clonezilla backup copy, an image of your computer, uh, two weeks ago, right? Yeah. And you've got it there. Like I said, it only took 30 minutes. So what's what's keeping you from doing this kind of thing? This is something you really want to do. You've just got your computer set up exactly the way you like it and before yep. your kids start mucking around with it and before anything else starts happening anything to it, at all. create an image and set it aside somewhere. Yeah. I'd like to welcome Crystal Wells who's joining us uh, in studio tonight and uh, you'll be able to kind of talk a little bit about what you do but uh, Krista is a uh, professional graphic designer here with her Mac professional yep. to show us how to uh, <laughs> build websites we're actually starting a series tonight. Uh, we talked about it a few weeks ago where we are taking it right from the get-go, building a website right from graphic design and concept all the way up to programming and actually building it into an actual website. So, uh, we were talking about how I was trying to push Ubuntu Linux on you. And, <laughs> and they felt bad for me? Is that well, what the complaint Well, viewers are just not so sure. You know, so I changed your mug this week. Is I don't know if SpongeBob? viewers can see that. It is indeed. Yeah, it's a SpongeBob mug now. Again, I appreciate it. Again, is. with the endorsements, I would rather it be an Ubuntu uh, <laughs> mug. But in order to make that compromise, we also have to. Viewers said, you know, we're so offended about this. 
one particular thing on the show and you really need to start censoring some of the content of the show so happy to oblige our viewers uh, we are introducing censorship this week which we don't like to do <laughs> but we are going to censor the show just a little bit so there we go oh you're kidding <laughs> no i don't approve <laughs> oh my poor mac <laughs> that's for you yeah, it's time for Cabin Cobra 5 TV. Episode number 200 of Category 5 Technology TV, and it's so fantastic to have you here. Neat to uh, see a bit of a, mm-hmm. a look back. Especially those first stuff. ones. Those are interesting. Isn't it amazing how far <laughs> the show has come? And it, it's been uh, such mm-hmm. an amazing ride, and we've got some wonderful people here tonight. Uh, Krista, of course, is our uh, one of our current co-hosts, and, uh, and she's joining us. We've got Carrie Webb, who uh, mm-hmm. has never seen the Tuesday video. It's cat5.tv slash Tuesday if you'd like to see the whole video. Um, don't know if you caught the, the end there where we I tried to do a pan of the uh, basically our viewer locations map. And, and one of the things that, mm-hmm. that just astounds me um, over the years and just how the show has grown is, is how we have viewers all over the place. And, and Germany and... Germany is is a massive, massive viewership, and and it's so great to have you here. I know uh, we actually have Dominic, who is uh, joining us for the uh, third time tonight, not the first, uh, but has joined us three times so far, is joining us from Germany, and uh, is among good company with uh, lots and lots of viewers over there, and uh, and everywhere in the world, we seem to have a, a really great representation of viewers, so... Yeah, it's a, you don't really think about that either. You just kind of think like you're doing the show. You don't really know or assume that everyone's worldwide like that. And, well, and we're, yeah, looking, we're looking at a, at a camera. And, yeah, and, and everyone looks like a red cannon to me. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it, it's interesting. Yeah, it's, it's, it's amazing to, to envision that many people uh, actually here with us. And, and we mm-hmm. try to keep that perspective that, that we are, you know, we're in your, in your office, in your living room, on your mobile device. And uh, and the interaction is is always a lot of fun as well. The chat room is is a great way to get uh, get mm-hmm. in touch with us and and uh, always enjoy that. We've got a couple of new viewers. Uh, Bald Scribe is joining us from Ohio for the first time tonight in our chat room at Category Five TV. Great to see you. And uh, also we've got P2B. And I didn't catch where P2B is from, uh, but hey, 
It is great to uh, have you joining us tonight for the first time as well. Anyone else who's joining us for the first time, make sure you say hey. We are uh, not sticking to format tonight as our usual show, but we wanted to uh, just kind of take some time to reminisce with you, the viewers, and, and with us, uh, the, the on-air staff and, and the people who volunteer for Category 5 and make the show happen for, for you and, and for myself. And um, You came along, Krista, at... No, you you lured me in. Yes. He did this. He's like, just I come, knew. just one show. That's all. And I was like, oh, okay, I'll come for the one show. Um, and then and then the show's over. He's like, oh, so see you next week. And I was like, oh well, <laughs> I'm scheduled. It kind of went in. down like that. <laughs> but I think it was kind of like, well, that was kind of fun. Will you let me come back? Oh, so you're saying I was begging was to come you. back to you? Oh it's well, I guess no one will ever know. I I think that when I when <laughs> I first asked you to to be a part of the show that I, I had a, uh, uh, just from past experience that I had a little suspicion that I was that super awesome. You might have some fun and that you might find that the community is a, an amazing group mm -hmm. of people who, even though we can't see you, we, we get your viewer images sent to us by email every week live at category5.tv. Uh, we've got you joining us in the chat room. Uh, during the live show, there's always a, a good number of people who are joining us in the live chat room, and then we hear from you through the week with your emails. And So I think it's, uh, I think it's fun to be a part of the show, a lot of fun. So what, what has been, you know, you're, you're the newest one here. Mm -hmm. I'm the newbie still. Yeah. So yeah. you've been having fun and and so far, yeah, yeah. There's what? still like possibility for a downslide with Robbie. You never know. You never know. <laughs> what What's been a, a memorable moment or or something about the show that you you know you you go home on a Tuesday night and think ah oh, that this particular thing about the show was was great. You know, one of the moments that I just <laughs> every time I think Category Five now I can't help it. It's like the most the funniest, the most embarrassing, and the most memorable all in one. And it's when I was a little over enthusiastic about the news and then Robbie laughs and then I laugh and then I'm crying about the news because I can't stop laughing. <laughs> that was a great moment and I still get emails to this day that say what what happened? What is she on? <laughs> in that episode. You'll have to you'll have to watch back at some of the uh, previous episodes to see what happened but that was yeah what happened there? Uh, I just I, the viewers want to know. I mean, I get emails saying what <laughs> happened. Well, there was a shocking bit of news, and I can't remember what it was about either. And I just felt it needed like when a somebody was like going a little, to jail, like a little punctuation. For, for and so Facebook I was like, oh, you know. And then apparently that wasn't needed, and Robbie thought it was hilarious, and then I started laughing. So it was my fault. <laughs> I would, I would have just continued on. Right. I mean, had you not started laughing, it would have been fun. So it's it would have been fault. fine. <laughs> It was all my fault, so now you know it was Robbie's fault. But watch back at the clip, and you'll see that Krista started laughing first. So <laughs> be careful. Hmm. So that's kind of like a memorable and embarrassing Funny and embarrassing at yeah. the same time. Yeah, it's kind so. of a little package on a neat little wrapper there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Knowing a little bit about you know getting to know the community and and what we do here on the show, um, and again because Krista's the newest member of our uh, of our uh, on air team, uh, what what does category five mean like what do you see category five as uh, be it the community or what what does it mean to you as far as hmm. looking forward and yeah that's a that's a kind of a tough question yeah. but you know the community is great and and something uh that i think needs to be improved on in the future is uh more mac coverage and just <laughs> just saying a little prejudice like i feel like i'm cheating on my mac right now with this thing She's got a what is it, Zorin OS running. It's pretty sleek, eh? Mm, yeah, but but really, I mean, I've learned so much about PCs and non-Mac platforms um, that more than I would ever want to know, mm. really. But I mean, it helps everyone else, and you like talking about it, so. That's about the show? About non-Mac stuff. Oh, about non-Mac stuff. Yeah. So, you know. I think it's important. <laughs> I, I, my perspective, as far as the Mac and Windows thing goes, is that there are Mac shows that already exist. Mm -hmm. There are Mac-centric uh, broadcasts. There are Windows-centric um, broadcasts out there. Lots of them. Most of them, in fact, are going to be about Windows. But there are Mac ones already out there. So Linux is a, I guess you would call it like a niche market or a, a, an area of it has has not doesn't get a lot got, of coverage. It just doesn't have the same mm -hmm. level of uh, of people like us who are willing to step out and say, okay, I'm going to dedicate 
a, a massive amount of time to providing support for this product and and I think Linux is a fantastic product and and so you know if if I'm going to be that that guy or one of those guys then then that's what I want to do so to give you some Fair perspective enough. as to oh, no, why I understand. things like, are a little Linux centric at, at times but at, at the same time I, I was saying to Jody before the show that we do try to keep things on all different levels mm-hmm. that's not always easy because of the fact that if we wanted to demonstrate Windows 7, we would have to have a Windows 7 system running in order to show it. If we want to demonstrate Ubuntu, we have to have an Ubuntu system running, which is fine because my system's running Ubuntu. So it just works out. So it just convenient. worked out. It was a convenient <laughs> thing, yeah. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, and I, I understand all that, but I mean, mm-hmm. I feel someone's got to make fun of Robbie, like take him down a notch, and <laughs> otherwise... She does this very well. Oh, Eric is uh, <laughs> is actually volunteering. <laughs> I am here for it. <laughs> Thank it's you, good. sir. It's good. Thank you, sir. But uh, but other other than that, I mean, it's it's uh, usually twenty four hours a day. I can be found like plugging away behind my computer, so or uh, or so it's be, refreshing be behind you to hear my camera. Other than Mac. Yeah. Well, no, no, that's not what I said. <laughs> Read between the lines. Hmm, I was going to say it's interesting to be on the other end of the camera, hmm. or you know, be like interacting with actual people instead of my email all day, or yeah, you know, yeah. stuff like that. So yeah, I guess that's different too, eh? Because being the, the nature of what what you and I both do is mm-hmm. is that you we're very much looking computer at a computer oriented. screen, yeah. whereas here people are looking at, at their us. computer screen, and we're there. Weird. Yeah. So. Coolish. Cool. So you're, you're having fun and, and enjoying it, and it's yeah. always great to have you here. I I could say you know thank you to to you for being a part of the show, and it's and it's like it seems like okay. Well, you could say thank you. Where's this going? I could. No, I'm just like it's like. <laughs> but we don't really need you on What people need to understand is that you know Category Five started. Having seen some of those clips, you realize that Category Five started as just me with a webcam. Oh yeah. As I said, so being where we are now and and growing and continuing to grow is is an exciting thing for me because uh, as you saw in the clips there one of the things that I was struggling with when I first started the show up until you know it was episode 30 where I said I really wish I had a co-host because that person could offload the the chat room and and be able to be pre-reading questions while I'm explaining other things and that's exactly where you know yourself where you come in and and all the other co-hosts who are involved in the show uh, so for me, it's a great thing, but also I think it improves the the quality of the broadcast for the viewers, and so so I appreciate that, and I appreciate every uh, mm-hmm. co-host who's a part of the show. But it's nice having you a part of the show uh, as of late. So no, oh, it was great that you actually lured me into it. I know, and I'm still here, so yeah, I'm obviously I'm design. obviously having fun. So like, we're doing a. I, I strategically set up that whole twelve week series mm. just so that it would be yeah, oh we're doing web design and that's what you do, so you know, maybe you could come and, and help and Yeah, very and tricky. Issues. Like what, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen weeks later? Something so, like that. Mm-hmm. Pretty awesome. Cool. Cool. Well thanks for being here tonight. Oh no problem. Yeah. Any questions for uh, for Krista? Uh, you can message her in the chat room right now. Uh, like I say, this is Category Five TV. This is episode number two hundred, so we're doing things differently tonight, and just kind of uh, just looking back and and uh, giving you a chance to to just kind of hang out with us here on the show. Uh, we'd love to, you know, if you have questions for Krista, for myself, just to say hi. Hey, Becca. Becca is joining us, but she's minding the kids at the same time. Great to see everybody in the chat room. Yeah. Switch it up. Scorpio fifty five commenting that uh, there's no phone li- uh, live phone call ins like the old days. Carrie, did we have phone call ins when you? Oh really? Here? Yeah. That could that was an wow. adventure sometimes. We should talk about that. Yeah. Um, because you never knew what, what was, was going to happen. happen. I think they were from Switzerland or somewhere. Sometimes they were from oh, all wow. over the world. Yeah. And and what ended up. And sometimes what would happen is it would be really difficult to get the question and and then interpret and 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 make sense of it in in such a way that live on the air. Mm-hmm. So so there there's some stories there. But uh, uh, Eric was wondering if we ever had to censor anybody. Unfortunately, we were we were really fortunate that that 
nobody really required censorship. There was a point where we introduced moderators in the chat room because it came down to that. Uh, and we appreciate our moderators too. I, I don't give our moderators enough credit, but everybody that you see in the chat room who uh, who is at the top with a star beside them or an at symbol, those are our moderators, and they kind of keep things uh, running smoothly for us because that was another thing that happened where we just couldn't keep up with the chat room and and moderating at the same time, basically censoring the chat room. So, uh, so we appreciate their their involvement over the past long while as well. <laughs> Did anyone send in any questions for you? No, they don't actually They're have any questions. Away. They're just talking away. Just, hey, oh look, it's Krista. <laughs> oh, Krista's John says that he camera. thinks Eric is actually going to chase me away. Heavens um, that's how I, I ended up losing my job. She chased me away. <laughs> <laughs> well, we not can, intentionally. <laughs> <laughs> Agamotto, great to see you. Final blogger. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll give. Uh, well, it, it's great having you here. I'm going to give Eric a chance to come and sit down and chat. So, oh, I guess. if you want to switch microphones, we are. Uh, All right. That's great. great. Well, we'll see. This everyone. is Category Five Technology TV. Get the and you can find <laughs> us at Category Five TV. It's so great to have you here for our 200th episode, and uh, just having a nice time to to reminisce with you and and uh, give you a chance to interact with uh, current co-hosts and and people who have been on the show in the past and. And uh, Eric is joining us, Eric Kidd, uh, who, oh, is very stylish tonight, as a matter of fact. <laughs> is your mic on now? Hey, how do you like it? Looks really, really All good. Right. Is your mic on? My, I good? think my mic's on. Yeah, you're on. Can you hear me? Okay. We've lost the uh, windscreen, so we'll need to find the windscreen at some I will point. try so. to uh, not huff and puff and do anything yeah. too wild right. and crazy like that. <laughs> well, hey, kids. Good to be home. Hey, kid. <laughs> nice to see you. You've been uh, away for some time. Well, like I said, he, he called me one day and said, you know, I've come up with somebody way more charming and better looking, and the kids out there in not what Cat I said. 5 land love her. It may her. be true. It's not what I said. And <laughs> <laughs> so. We don't get along at all, though, and that's, exactly. that's the problem. So, no, it's, uh, we've, we've missed having you on the show. What actually happened, and, and I think you understand this, and you understand this, right? Krista broke all the gear. Krista broke it all. Yeah. yeah. Chased me away, broke all the she gear. She came into our studio. And she's way better looking and more charming. No, she, <laughs> she had the nerve to plug in a Mac into our network. Are you new? <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> so anyways, what, uh, what ended up happening after the surge is that we lost uh, the ability to stream from multiple uh, cameras. We lost two of our microphones. So then, you know, I'm still... You know, we're, we're, we're making do and we're getting through and we're on loaner hardware tonight to get us through as well before we replace that. So, and things seem to be going fairly well. So, that's good. Yeah, yeah you know, and then that, you know, the Tuesday video, you know, I, I got oh, a lot of... You were fantastic. Fan in mail from that. Yeah. Actually, I think it was your wife sent me one and... Yeah? Yeah. Just to say how awesome you were? Well, actually, I... I got a lot of comments, <laughs> as, like YouTube and email that say... Because some people don't even know that that's Eric Kidd. They just know that this guy is well, just going at this music video. And doing I have a way job. cool green shirt that I've that used fantastic. on St. Paddy's Day a couple of times. Who vest. is your favorite uh, in the Tuesday video, cat5.tv slash Tuesday? Your comments about that? <laughs> so when can we expect you back? Do, do you know? I know I'm you're here tonight. With work. It's yeah, been it's a busy day. Uh, yeah, but heck, I'm as soon as, uh, you know, we're... Ready to go? I'd like to make the odd appearance. Fantastic. If, if Krista will allow, because you asked nice enough. <laughs> if I if I get a hat, can I be in? Absolutely. Okay, I have Absolutely. a cowboy hat. You can be in with or without the hat, <laughs> for sure. All right. Uh, so, uh, thinking back over Category Five, you've been with us for for quite a while, um, and you started here as you know you're my buddy, and and we thought. Yeah, it'd be fun to be on the show and hang he out. He invited me over for coffee. Next thing you know, there's a camera in my face, and <laughs> oh, he's got music look at that. going. It's Tuesday night. Yeah. <laughs> Heavens, what are hey, we going to do? Wait a minute. Why is my name do you on mind, the TV? Do you mind sitting there? W could you read the odd thing for me, Eric? <laughs> <laughs> look at that screen over there. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, so, with you know your involvement in the show, what has been something that's memorable? Um, do you have a particular memory that you think, hey, that? I don't know. It, th there's been a lot of fun. I, I actually really really did uh, get a kick out of your closed captioning debacle oh. um you know and we we got uh, you know we, we we got complaints and we got 
I got death threats for the anti-American <laughs> thing. And, you know, and the Pride people weren't happy about Not the, the intro. So, mm. no, we, we, no, that was a lot of fun. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they are having way too much fun back there. Just a they? lot of fun. Yeah. I hope you're having fun at home as well. Um. Yeah. <laughs> the people in the other room, the, the wife in the other room. Is it, what's going on in there? What the oh, heck? Yeah. Hey, I, I stole this from... Uh, that that was fun. You that can was, wear that, that was, anytime you like. That was a, it's even got an inside magnet, you know. Magnet. So is yeah, I was thinking. I'm in now. I mean, <laughs> what I really wanted to do was when Robbie was on camera, break one of the balloons and see how that'd go. But uh, <laughs> I'm trying to act like an adult tonight. It, too late, or do you think it could happen? It could happen. Could happen. Could happen. If you have any questions for Eric in the chat room, he is uh, logged in as co-host. Co -host. Um, so make sure you say hi. Yeah. And uh, You notice I only, I only wore, wore the hockey equipment one time. Mm -hmm. Well, that you've was, worn your jersey a couple times. Yeah, but uh, only wore the gear. Oh, that was Halloween. I wore the, yeah. the hockey equipment. It was, it was tough equipment. talking with the mouth guard in, but, mm -hmm. but that was fun. This just reminded you of that? Yeah. I was dressed in Star Trek garb that day? Yes, exactly. You had the whole outfit, and I, I had my skates on, which was really dangerous under the desk here. <laughs> Quit trying to play footsies with me, Eric. Yes. Ow. So, no, no, it's, it, it's been fun. And the, and the folks in the chat room are, are pretty good-natured, and they're willing to call me to task if I mispronounce something. But actually, one of my favorite things is correcting your English or your pronunciations, but... Uh, Every once in a while, he kicks me under the table for that, so I've, I've behaved myself I tonight not to for the most the part. Yeah. Skates. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so any embarrassing moments uh, on the show? <laughs> that that was pretty Always trying to cause trouble. Always trying to cause trouble. <laughs> oh, somebody Can said. Can you think my, of any off the top of your head? Embarrassing? No, I don't get embarrassed too easily. I mean, I, I mispronounce the odd. Thing. Oh, I, but only Chris Reich is going to call you on that. Yes. Unlike uh, me, who has to sit next to you and have you correct um, me every time. I don't know. I'm, I'm. He does it so kindly, though. He writes it down and passes yeah, it. Yeah, usually. Over. So I think it's an important note. You know? Like, your mic is off. And it's like, uh, it's pronounce or pronounce. Or, <laughs> you know, it, uh, yeah. It's demo, not demo. Yeah, beta, not. <laughs> it's beta, beta, not beta. beta. Yeah. It's more beta. Has a picture no, of I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> So sorry, <laughs> I, I said I was going to try to act like more of an adult. Watching for. Um, I've had a couple of requests to grow the beard back. Comments? No. <laughs> I, I think you look look good without the beard. That's, no, that's no. my. That opinion. hockey stick scars a little bit. Uh, I think pronounced sometimes. I think the light, but. we were in, and even though the clip was hilarious with the with the uh, closed captioning, one of the fact uh, true fact is is that we do have hearing impaired. Uh, individuals who, who watch the show and I understand that and, and I've been told that they read our lips ah so when you had the beard it was difficult for them <laughs> that's my story but it's true. oh if that's true of you pop us an email and and I'll I'll forward it on to Eric just so that he knows not to grow back the beard <laughs> I may grow it back because this shaving every day is really really becoming that's, tedious that's tough it's eh? tedious. like yeah. having to get up and go to work indeed and, yeah but no, no, it's been a great run. I really enjoy the folks in the chat room. I, I, I really enjoyed all the all the co-hosts, even the one who won't let me come back most days. Uh. <laughs> His faux bitterness. <laughs> <laughs> so once we get the the system re replaced, we get the 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 camera in. I'll just randomly show up. You're just going to show up, and yeah. we're, we're going to be good to go. Now, we, we've got our three microphones. These headsets, we've got three of these, and uh, that's all thanks to our community supporting us, and, and, and uh, they've bought us these three microphones. But unfortunately, the, the adapter that allows us to hook it into the, to the XLR, so that's this guy did here. Did not adapt well. <laughs> it didn't, uh, they didn't work. So, oh. so the Music Store, Music Pro, is still loaning me the, uh, a better adapter because oh. the three that we purchased didn't work so uh, but I got an email from him today saying that they're that they've ordered new ones they're gonna be here next week we'll just beg for more funding no no <laughs> what was I thinking foot and mouth there you go no um, <laughs> but uh, the fact is is that the, they're on their way so we're gonna have a, a microphone and, all right uh, we'll have another microphone so that you can come back on so I'll come back in before the end of the summer and that'd be good and the best thing I did all summer was, <laughs> I'll write an essay, and I'll make you listen to the whole thing. I'll read it. 
Okay. Yeah. That's it. All right. <laughs> I'm going to go and hide over by the pretzels now. I think. Enjoy. Yeah. Thanks for All thanks right. for being here, Eric. And and the same thing goes for you as as well. Thank for you Kristen. for having me. And yeah. It's uh, it's a lot of fun having you here, and then you know we have a lot of fun and. Uh, tonight is is obviously laid back and being episode number 200 we're just kind of hanging out so but um laid back you didn't even make coffee tonight sorry uh i was kind of running around yeah <laughs> but it's you know i love having you here i've missed you i i know the community has missed having you here so we we need to get things straightened out so that you can be back all right i will be back and i was gonna say i'll be here with bells on but that would just be silly no no bells <laughs> yeah all right all right I'm gonna walk away. Right. I'm gonna run away. Post right your messages this to Eric in the uh, chat room. Yeah. It's category 5tv for the chat. Keep those cards and letters coming in. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Eric. This is Category 5 Technology TV. You'll find us online www.category5.tv, um, and we'll get uh, we'll get Jody uh, to join us uh, next. Yeah. Okay. Now you you all know her voice, and we'll 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 let her. Uh, talk before I actually put her on camera so you can try to try to picture Jody who, who I, I don't believe we've ever seen because what's interesting about uh, my friendship with Jody is that we've worked together for um, we, we figured that we had worked together for about 10 years so you're on okay I think I'm on you're on, <laughs> Am so, I on? so before you come okay. on camera just okay introduce the show or say something about category 5 and hello Tordo <laughs> That's Ooh, all you got? There's hate mail? <laughs> no, I'm meaning the chat. <laughs> this is uh, Jody Crangle who joins us tonight uh, for the first time. We've never actually met in person. Uh, no, this was the first, this was actually the first time that we met in person. Yeah. yeah. Neat stuff. Pretty so cool. <laughs> Jody has been the, the image voice is the term, but uh, the voice of Category 5 for, uh, must be uh, I don't know a couple how long years, it's been now. Has years? it been a couple years? I, I think so, because we, wow. we did the brother giveaway. Yes. Where we gave away the MFC 6490 CDW, as you yeah. remember. Yeah. With perfect diction. <laughs> I love doing that one. Yeah. That was fun. So, when Jody and I work together, basically I'll, I'll email you a script, and, and Jody's the voice, of course, as you, as you hear off the top of the show, introducing Category 5 TV and, mm -hmm. uh, and introducing myself as well. Uh, but being that we've never met, it's all done through the internet. Yeah. Interesting how high-speed internet has revolutionized the ability to produce. Our our theme song was produced by mm -hmm. uh, a friend of mine who I've never met, who <laughs> That's pretty is awesome. in Australia, and he produced it in Australia, yep. and he sent it over to me. Yeah. Um, so it's interesting how the internet has, has changed our, our world as far as... I've done vocals uh, like for singing yeah. for a, a friend of mine named Chris Conway who's in the UK wow. who uh, we've collaborated and, and he's put some stuff on his CDs and stuff and we've just... Just like that, yeah, right? I and have you do a, that have, through the internet. Yeah, well I have my own uh, little home studio mm -hmm. so I have, to, I have to be ready to do this at a moment's notice. Cool. <laughs> So your involvement with Category 5 up to now has been strictly that, is yeah. we send a script and... I'm not used to being you, here. Yeah. <laughs> this is weird you, for me. Do you get on camera? Like, no, I never do Which is kind of weird, eh? Because your voice, now I, I actually will see commercials on cable TV where it's Jody's voice and you've mm -hmm. probably seen some as well if you're in uh, Canada or the US. Um, so there's the voice, but getting in front of a camera, that's not something that you're used to. Yeah, no, I, I'm used to being in front of microphones, but not... <laughs> in, in, like, voice track studio type yeah, environments? Yeah, usually. So, like, a, a glass room Well, with a my home studio is a little, little less complicated than that. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's the bathroom in the basement. <laughs> no, not quite the bathroom, no, no. Uh, we're, we're in a townhouse, so actually I found that the quietest room in our house is actually the top floor, my office which mm. faces the street, strangely enough. That tends to be the quietest room in the house. I don't know why that is. I think it's because I have less rumble from like the furnace and stuff oh, down yeah. the stairs. Down, and there's, like, down here in the basement, if yeah. someone's running around upstairs, not to name anyone, but <laughs> any one of the kids, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. It, it resonates down here. So being yeah. maybe on the top floor, carpeting yeah. and stuff. It's true, yeah. yeah. And I have um, foam underneath the um, legs of my mic stand. 
so oh, okay. it, it sort smart. of guards yeah. it from the from the floor. Do you do like eggshells around the room or? I don't, but I have something called an SE reflection screen. So what so, it so is? So around your mind. Yeah, okay. it's just a little round half Andrew moon Jameson thing. knows what she's talking about there. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> yeah. So we ought to get you to make make the trip and and come. We'll talk about your studio. I, I would be interested in in learning I, more about <laughs> how you do what you do, and I think the viewers sure. may may get a lot out of that as well. Yeah. As far as your involvement with Category Five. Getting scripts and, and reading those. What has your experience been? And, and you know, it's it's a little different, right? Because yeah. You've never been on on the show itself, but you've you've watched the show and you. I and was you in the chat room for a while. Uh, yeah. I think with the with the folks there yeah, for like that. three or four episodes. I think after mm -hmm. I actually heard my my intro right. in there. I always love hearing it. It's cool. Yeah. Do, you, do you usually get that chance where you've voiced a spot or whatever? And Sometimes. You, yeah. um, I have some stuff on BlackBerry right now on their YouTube okay. uh, station and. I've uh, done a, a slice show called In Law Wedding Wars, which was fun. So I've seen a couple of those episodes. And <laughs> so what's what's the deal with that? So you go in and you voice over for a television show. Yeah. But again, you're not on the screen. No, I'm not on the screen. I'm I'm the last person they call. Like right. it's all done and finished by the time they call me in. And then there's a director and an right. engineer, and they just tell me how to do what I need to do, and I take good direction, I hope, <laughs> and do what they want me to do, and it's all there. And they nice. clean it all up and put it in where it needs to be in, and they, you have a show. <laughs> cool. Yeah. So just as a, as a quick little plug, um, you hear Jody and, and you hear her <laughs> on the show. So um, being that you can be at voice track or um, do remote spot mm -hmm. recording. Anywhere and, in the world. And ISDN connections and yep. things. Um, where can people go to, to hire you? Uh, you would go to my website, which is voiceoversandvocals.com. You actually spell out the A-N-D. Uh, or you can go to Jody, J-O-D-I, Krangle, with a K, uh, dot com. And okay. either will get you to my website, and it's Very all cool. there. Piece of cake, voiceovers, and vocals. <laughs> That's a mouthful. Yes. No yes pun intended. It is. No. Ah. <laughs> the yummy so, choice. That's, you know. <laughs> so I, I noticed that one of your Category 5 spots actually made it into one of your reels. It did, yeah. I love doing cool. that brother spot. It was just so much fun. It was great writing, I have to say. Thank you. Well written. Thank you. Um, and, you know, sometimes when you voice stuff, you just power through the script and you do mm. the best you can. I mean, it's my job to make it sound good, even mm. if the script is mm, not so great. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, you uh, to get around that. Yeah, so. you, I mean, you make do and you do the best you can and you make it breathe and mm. live and whatever you can do with it. Mm. Um, but when you get scripts that are fun to read, then you right. really can have a good time with it. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, and yeah. I guess with me, as I'm writing stuff, for you, mm -hmm. it's like it's like a you know somebody writing a song for a singer. Yeah, you, you write it specifically for their key and for their tone. <laughs> so as I'm writing things for you, I'm yeah. realizing, okay, well this this would sound great as, yeah. as Jody says this. So I just remember the saucy part. <laughs> the saucy. <laughs> and you did it so well. How does she do that so well? So chat room, what would you like to hear uh, Jody say? <laughs> and make sure it's not saucy. But uh, uh, okay. Cookies? <laughs> no, no, exactly? say it like a radio voice. <laughs> Cookies. <laughs> Pizza. Wow, our chat room is very creative tonight. They're hungry is what they are. <laughs> <laughs> Dear me. Krista ate the cookies, says Jot. <laughs> is that Jot or yep, Jot? Jot, Jot? Yep. okay. Cool. So, so this is, this is your first time seeing our studio, and yeah. what's your impression of Category 5 as a whole? I think it's fantastic. I mean, it, it was great being in the chat room, um, just, you know, seeing that end mm -hmm. when I was um, at my own, you know, office, right. just yeah. logging in and chatting, but um, uh, it's fantastic to see it from this end. <laughs> I, like I said, I'm not used to being here. Right, right. <laughs> and, and it's neat how much you can do with a, a small space. It really is. The internet, again, yeah. has, has revolutionized yeah. so much. So. I'm, I'm looking forward to when you guys have the server all up and running again, yeah. and you can do your green screen. That's, that's, that's really, that would be neat, yeah. 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 The Star Trek stuff, and you know. Star Trek definitely yeah. has to be done once a week. <laughs> it must be done. <laughs> I'm going to beam into every Live episode. Live long and prosper. <laughs> <laughs> I like her. <laughs> I am such a geek. <laughs> Fantastic. So we'll get you into the chat room more often mm -hmm. and, and say hi. And so 
Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious? Oh, okay, yeah, that's just... <laughs> now you're just playing. <laughs> she made it through. Well, it's, we, we obviously are, are hugely appreciative of your I'm volunteering, your talents. Yeah. And, and I, I think the viewers understand that everybody who's involved in the show does this on a voluntary basis. Wow. And <laughs> Eric's like, what? I'm not getting paid? He I'm out of here. He's getting paid, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, no, I dude. just... I, I, the, all the Can't technology has a... It has a, a, a nice, you know, warm place in my heart. So yeah. I'm, I'm really big into the technology myself. So I've thought this would be really cool. <laughs> and and we, we appreciate it so much that you're that you're willing to loan your voice to us. No for, problem at all. For the voiceovers my that you've done. My sincere pleasure. Yeah, so, uh, and, uh, and no, I'm not doing Irish swearing. Sorry. <laughs> no. <laughs> Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> So uh, message, uh, you can message Jody off of her website. It was again... Uh, voiceoversandvocals.com. Okay, great. So visit uh, visit her website, and uh, if you have a need for uh, for her voice talent, then I'd be I, happy to I would recommend that, uh, that you give her a call. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here tonight. Thanks Thank for you for inviting me. I appreciate yeah, it. Cheers. Okay. Nice to, nice to see you and nice to meet you. <laughs> Likewise. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jody and I actually met. Um, it was interesting how we met because I was doing some programming for her uh, for a radio website that she was doing. And so over the years, like I say, it's been, we figured tonight that it's probably been about 10 years uh, since we first started chatting. So, but again, it, that was before, you know, the whole high speed boom and all that kind of stuff. So uh, at that time, we were working with, uh, we were just working over the phone and, and programming through dial up and stuff like that. And, and I do need to get this girl on the show. Uh, during a regular broadcast because we were talking about XTs before the broadcast and uh, 386 SXs and uh, all that kind of stuff. So we've got a lot of interesting five things. Floppies. Five and a quarter inch floppies and RLL hard drives and fantastic stuff. So. Carrie Webb joins us tonight. Hello, Robbie. Hello. Hi, Category 5 team. It's great to be back. Is your mic on? Just double check. Mm, I did turn it off. Perfect. Carrie Hello, Webb Robbie. is joining us. Hey. <laughs> Hi, Category 5 team. Carrie, it is so hey. nice to see you, as always. It's great to be back. Looking at those old it's clips. It's really great to be back. Yeah. I was laughing pretty hard, Robbie. <laughs> <laughs> I think one of the most embarrassing things was when I, I, I used that, that geek swear word, and I didn't even know it. <laughs> and then Robbie Just made the clip through. of me bleeping it out. So funny. That was, that was a good clip, for yeah. sure. Chat room enjoyed that. <laughs> I, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't know what. Uh, if you would like to say hi to Carrie, the chat room is up on her screen over here, and uh, she's she's there to answer your questions, and and we'd love to uh, hear from from you uh, to talk to Carrie. Carrie was uh, my first co-host, as you gathered from uh, from the intro clips, and and that was a big turning point for the show, and mm -hmm. and you really ushered in a whole new kind of style of Category Five with your ability to question me so gently and be like, hey, what does that mean, you know? Mm -hmm. So so that really may help me to realize that okay, having a co-host and, and somebody sitting in this position is a really good chance for us to keep things at a level where, yeah, I can talk tech, mm -hmm. but the co-host can keep us, at, uh, make sure that it's understandable to, right. to the, the novice user, and that's what Category 5 wants to be is available to every level of users so which i really appreciated too because coming onto this show i was a little intimidated mm. right because i i didn't know anything and i still don't know too much about technology mm -hmm. and you really made it you know real for me and applicable that's cool i have used gimp yeah mm -hmm. awesome and uh <laughs> did really well with that i'm sure We've got series if you if you want to, but I, I could help you with that. Okay. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Right now, I'm I'm probably blushing. Thank you. Use the gimp <laughs> on Windows. Yeah. We'll, we'll keep working <laughs> on her. <laughs> so memorable moments on the show. Uh, we had so many. I yeah. think one of them with with you was obviously doing the first anniversary show. Yeah. Was a really big deal. It yeah. was it was a huge amount of work to get that show to, to happen mm -hmm. uh, from coordinating the venue to actually getting Im invitations out and getting people to attend and, mm -hmm. and so we had a live in studio audience in which we gave away tons and tons of prizes I think like yeah, there were a lot 50% of the show was literally just giving away stuff yeah. so wow I waited too long to come in 
Yeah. <laughs> Jody missed out. <laughs> what happened with episode 200? <laughs> yeah, why aren't you doing it in episode 200, he says. So yeah, that, that, a... that to me was a really special show, and I, and I look yeah. forward to um, our fifth anniversary when we do something similar as well yeah. uh, on a probably a, a grander scale. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, that was definitely um, a highlight for me because yeah. it was I hadn't been on the show too long right. prior, and it, yeah, was right. a, it was a great introduction, and it was nice to see the actual fans of the show mm-hmm. and get to meet them and see what it's all about. And, that was and really, really I know you mentioned earlier with Krista about the community, and that's definitely um, been a highlight for me being on the show and getting to interact with the community it's Mm -hmm. it's a really neat thing you got going on here cool yeah i think so i think so um looking back at uh at the anniversary show Mm -hmm. what the viewers may not understand is that what happened to krista kind of happened to you in that oh completely I had called up Completely. Carrie. <laughs> Carrie was a bass player for, for, you know, I was playing acoustic guitar and she was playing bass, and that's how we kind of met. Yeah. Um, so I had asked her, because at that time I was looking for somebody to help with the first anniversary show, because I knew I couldn't handle it by myself, because somebody had to walk around with a microphone. That was my original thinking. I think that's what, I, when I called, I, I said, like, would you mind walking yeah. around with a microphone and getting people in the audience to ask questions? Yeah. And she agreed, and so you started a few weeks before the anniversary show, mm-hmm. and then you didn't leave for a long time. <laughs> it was a long time. You were here for quite a while, so yeah. what, what made you stay? Yeah. I just, uh, it was kind of neat. It was kind of neat? It was, it was kind of neat. <laughs> so I wear to the night. But yeah, it was uh, something totally different and uh, something I wasn't used to, and I, I enjoyed spending time with you and Becca and the kids, yeah. and yeah. It was Three just, kids uh, now. Yes. Three kids. Yeah, congratulations. Yeah. That's exciting. When you started, we must. Did we just have Tally? Mm-hmm. I don't even. Um, think. no, was Zach was Zach here. Zach was here at that yeah. time too. Zach yeah, Zach was here. Just a little guy. Just very little. Just a very little, little guy. Like, wow, time flies. Yeah, cool. but I certainly didn't know what I was getting into when you asked me. But yeah. I'm, I'm really thankful you did. It was a long run, and and uh, we we had a lot of fun, and and mm-hmm. I think the viewers. Uh, who were watching at that time? We do have quite a few viewers who are still watching, yeah, and who recognize you and who are in the chat room even tonight. And yeah. um, it, it's just it's so cool to just you know to be able to reminisce with them. And, mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Yeah. But uh, as far as so okay, embarrassing moments, the bleep. Anything else stand out in your mind? Because we were. Um. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe sorry. Uh, the guys behind the camera there are being <laughs> naughty. <laughs> we, think, we were thinking we could create our own new embarrassing moment. Oh, for you if you no, want. it's no. fine. <laughs> no new embarrassing moments. <laughs> um, I don't know. Maybe maybe the viewers would like to remind me. Yeah. If viewers. there's an embarrassing moment. Any questions for Carrie as she's here? <laughs> It's always kind of embarrassing trying to pronounce things. Yeah, <laughs> like the tech words. Ubuntu. What else did I say? Um, I I mispronounced GNU Ubuntu back then. Or something. Mm-hmm. I don't remember now. Oh. Sure. <laughs> gnome genome. What did I call? Yeah, it? didn't you say like gnome? Or, I don't or, remember. No, no, that that would be considered correct. But you said like genome. Genome or something. Gen- it was a rapper term. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. I'm pretty gangster, Robbie. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, it's it, good to be back. It's been so fun having you here tonight, and and we're 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 over time, and that's cool. Um, and I've I've welcomed people to you know if you've got questions for Carrie, we'll probably be around for a few minutes after the show tonight. But it's so nice to have you here and and joining us, um, you know, as as you sometimes are able to do. And um, has work been going well? I know you left to yeah. pursue nursing. And oh yeah, yeah, it's excellent. Yeah, I love my job. I work with great people, and yeah. So this is completely different from my day job, so it's nice to yeah. <laughs> that the break is kind of neat. Most people who leave the show are going into radio or going into yeah. TV, uh, as has been the case like in Hillary. the past. So yeah. Hillary working in TV yeah. and, and uh, uh, Christy, who has left us for radio, yeah. um, and you went into nursing. Yeah, completely different. Yeah. I work with people, not computers. <laughs> <laughs> one day they will be one in the same, Carrie. Perhaps. <laughs> yeah, perhaps. <laughs> Pursuing when I that. retire. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be the first to know, too, so introduce it right there. True. She is a very good bass player. You've been playing bass for a long time. Yeah, I think I got it when I was 12. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Little red mini one. I still play the same one. Now she plays a big girl bass. 
Nope, it's still the same red. Anyway. Really? Yeah, I'm serious. Oh, I yeah. should bring it in and show you. That's cool. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll uh, it's great having you here. Yes, thank and, you. Uh, thanks for joining us tonight. Thank you, everybody, for joining us here at Category 5 TV. Uh, this has been episode number 200. Really looking forward to having you here next week for 201 as we continue our series on Linux distributions. Uh, we will be in, in and out of the... Uh, we'll be in the chat room uh, for the next few minutes. Um, so if you have any questions or if you want to say hello, uh, please do post uh, in the chat room and somebody will be uh, certainly looking at uh, one of the systems here. So great having uh, everyone here. Uh, Christy and John could not be here tonight. Uh, Hillary uh, sends her regards as well and uh, has actually sent us a video just to say uh, good evening to us. So I'll play that uh, as we're closing out tonight. So you have a great week and uh, we'll see you next uh, next week. But thank you so much, everybody. I didn't get much time to talk about what the show means to me necessarily, but I think everybody knows that uh, to me the, the whole community and everybody who works here behind the scenes uh to make this show happen is just it just means so much to me because it never was meant to be what it is and and uh carrie knows probably more than anyone how you know the show started because mm -hmm. it came along as it was just kind of getting that that role going so um but just yeah. so great to have everybody joining us and i don't think people realize either which is one thing when i first started what surprised me is how much time you really do dedicate to this and, and all the editing and all mm. the typing out of all the... Writing the news. That's and it. Just everything. so that the news people can read it. and Everything. Yeah. So I know you've, you've been super dedicated to this and to the community. And it's completely altruistic, which is wonderful. So that's one of the things that really has appealed to me about Category 5 and something that I promote when I talk about it to people. Cool. So. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, I love doing it, and I love uh, I love the community. I like really. Mm -hmm. I genuinely like. I feel an affection, and and like this is a family mm -hmm. to me. And I think uh, that everyone else who is a part of the show feels that way. And even all the, I'm sure the community feels that way as well. That we're really just we're more than just a TV presenters and viewers. We're we're really a community, and I think that that is uh, what makes Category Five quite different. So. Thank you for being a part of that community, and uh, thanks for joining us tonight. If you're new here, of course, uh, this this is out of format. Check out our website, category5.tv. Um, we are celebrating our 200th episode tonight, and uh, so next week we're going to be back to regular format and having a lot of fun with that. So thanks for being here, everybody, and everybody who's in studio tonight. I uh, love you, Robbie. Oh, I love you, too, man. I love you, too. There's the lounge cam. You guys are literally lounging with a bowl of cheesies. Yeah. <laughs> Come here. Come on. Oh, Robbie, okay. Thanks for being here, everybody. Oh, there she is. Okay. <laughs> That's a small couch to me. <laughs> Three people on. Oh, so nice to have everybody here. Thank you so much. And uh, we will see you we next week. We are definitely having fun. So take care. And uh, here's Hillary uh, sent this in. It is Hillary's birthday, as, as we all know. And uh, she's also uh, working at a camp, so unable to be here tonight, but does send her regards. And, uh, and here she is. So have a great week. We'll talk to you later. See you next Tuesday night. Greetings, Category 5 fans. Hillary Rumble just wanting to say happy birthday and happy 200 episodes. Sorry, I can't be with you guys to celebrate. I'm kind of a little occupied right now at the camp I'm working at, as you can see by my lovely attire. But that doesn't mean I'm not celebrating with you in spirit. Robbie, you've done an excellent job keeping this show going and moving forward and doing fabulous new creative things every day. And I just want to thank you for that. And thanks for letting me be a part of it. I'm looking forward to 200 more episodes. Bye, guys.